lot of questions I get, by the way, this time of year are about hurricane names. So I did want to talk about that briefly. If this one were to be named as a tropical storm, it would be the J storm, the 10th Josephine. And notice the rest of the year, the um, after Isaias, that kind of hard to pronounce one, the rest are pretty uh, manageable, I think, as far as pronouncing it. A few more details on hurricane names. They were really come up with to make it easy to identify and especially warn people, particularly in an active part of the season where there are a bunch of storms out there and it gets more difficult to say which one you're talking about. There are six lists of names recycled every six years. They're maintained by the World Meteorological Organization. They all started in 1953 when all the names were female and in 1979 male names were introduced and alternated male and female since then. So each list has 21 names. None of these letters are included because names are a little more uncommon starting with those letters. Names are retired of course for deadly or costly storms and there have been dozens of those that have been retired since the 50s. None were retired for last year's season because the World Meteorological Organization's meeting this year in the spring was canceled due to COVID. And if there are more than 21, remember the Greek alphabet that we used in 2005 would uh, be used. The NOAA forecast calls this year for us to get to Delta. And in 2005, remember, we got to Zeta. Our seven day forecast is showing our temperatures going down a little bit toward the end of the week.